It was a grand upstanding Bantam cocks all brisk and stiff and spry With springy step and jaunty plume And a purposeful look in his eye In his little black blinking eye he had I took him to the coop and I introduced him to be seventeen wide-eyed hens. He talked and he talked as a hero talks and he bowed from the waist the all and then he upped and he talked them all again, he did. And then upon a piece of me ducks and me geese he rudely did intrude. With glazed eyes and open mouths they bore it with fortitude and a little bit of gratitude they did. He jumped me giggling guinea fowl, forced his attentions upon me. Me twenty hysterical turkeys and a visiting migrant swan, but the phantom thundered on he did. He ravished me fantail pigeons and me lily white columbine, and as I was locking up the budgery gar, he jumped me parrot from behind. She was sitting on me shoulder at the time. <laughs> Then, all of a sudden, with a gasp and a gulp, he clasped his hands to his head, fell flat on his back with his toes in the air, my bantam cock lay dead, and the vultures circled overhead, they did. What a champion cock, what a noble brute, what a way to live and to die. I was digging her grave to save his bones from the hungry buzzards in the sky when the phantom opened up a sly little eye. He gave me a grin and a terrible wink, the way that rapists do. He said, you see them big daft buggers up there? They'll be down in a minute or two. They'll be down in a minute or two. Thank <laughs> you.